Hi, I'm Colin Horn. I'm the Customer Service Manager at MTRAC Marine Electronics. We've been in the AIS business now for 15 years. Today we're going to talk about how easy it is to get started with this, the MTRAC A100, which for the last four years has been the world's number one best-selling Class A AIS transceiver. In the box is nearly everything you need. The transceiver, which is tough and small, brackets and fixings, an instruction manual, which also includes a quick start guide, a GPS antenna with cable, and this junction box, in case you want to connect your Class A to lots of other systems. In addition, you'll need a good quality VHF antenna and some good quality RG58 or RG213 coax cable to ensure optimal performance. The first thing you need to do is decide where you want to install the transceiver. Now, brackets are supplied, so you can fit it almost anywhere even flush mounted like this one if you want. Normally we recommend it's installed in the bridge area so that the display is easily seen from the helm. And this also means you've got easy access to power and any other connections you might want to make. For best performance your AIS needs a separate VHF and GPS antenna. VHF range is determined by line of sight so the highest point possible will give best to receive and transmit performance. Make sure it's installed at least one metre away from other antennas or radar, as this will cause interference. Your GPS antenna can be anywhere, so long as it's got a clear view of the sky so it can see all the satellites. When selecting a good quality cable, we recommend a good standard RG58 or RG213 cable for your VHF antenna. This will optimise your AIS's performance. When running them, try to keep them away from any other high voltage cables, as this can cause interference. Other than the challenge of keeping things tidy, this is pretty easy and will probably follow the same path as your other cables. This is really easy. We decided where to put this right at the beginning. The Class A comes with a quick mounting bracket. Simply screw this securely to your console, clip in the Class A and adjust for optimal easy viewing. Our Class A is very sophisticated and can be connected to many bridge systems. Before powering the unit up, firstly connect the VHF antenna, followed by the GPS antenna, and in this case, because we want to see AIS targets on the plotter, connect the plotter. That's it. Now connect the power. The unit will now power up and the GPS will start looking to lock onto satellites. You will need to configure the Class A with what's called static data which is your vessel name, your MMSI number, and vessel size. This is really quick and easy to do, but it's important to get this right. This is what others around you will see on their screens. With our unit, you can use the Config AIS PC application, which is provided on the CD in the box. Or you can use the menu system on the unit itself. In this case, we've connected a laptop to the Class A and are entering the details as instructed. The program will ask you to check the details are correct before finally programming the unit. And that's it. Your Class A is now fully installed and configured. Our Class A will now operate automatically without you having to do anything. But of course, it's got lots of features and functions which may be useful. The menu system is simple. Push this button to scroll through the menu pages. When on a menu page, you can use this knob to select the sub-menu feature you want. These buttons here give you access to list menus. The graphics and display are designed to be easy to read when in a busy operational environment. So as you can see, our Class A is very easy to install, very easy to configure and very easy to use. That coupled with the detailed instruction manual and all the dealer support you're going to get means you're going to be up and running in no time at all.